I'm Elaine Harding, welcome to my blog .stampwithelaine.com and welcome to today's project. Today I am working with the Happy Tales bundle. This has a coordinating dog builder punch and if you purchase them together it will save you 10%. This is the mirror technique and I'll show you how it's done. You need the stamparatus and a silicon mat. Tuxedo Black Memento ink, Smoky Slate and Real Red inks. The Stamping Blend combos in Smoky Slate. The card base is half an A4 sheet. In Europe that will be 8 and a quarter inches by 5 and 7 eighth inches. In metric that measures 21 centimetres by 14.5 centimetres and folded in half. You need a real red matte layer and that measures 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. In metric that will be 14.3 centimetres by 9.8 centimetres. Two pieces of wisp white cut at 5 and a half by 3 and 3 quarters. That's 14 centimetres by 9.5 centimetres. And some scraps of wisp white for the label. You need a little bit of silver foil for the dog tags. A Betty Bloom's punch pack and we'll be using this one for the flower centres to cut the dog tags with. The rectangle stitch framelits and magnetic platform. Now, I've already set up my dog on the plate and I'm reluctant really to take it off because it's in the right position now. But if you need to do it from scratch then take the sizes of your cardstock and draw it around the grid paper okay and then you want it in the center so use your grid paper to count out how many squares there are to find your middle so we could start from there say that's two that's four eight twelve sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one and a bit so your middle will be round about there and then if you place your stamp just shy of that that's where the position should be. So let's get stamping. Now put your silicone mat on and you need to make sure that there is no uh, lint or anything on your silicone mat. If you have a lint brush that's perfect. But I can't find mine at, at the moment, so <clears throat> you could use a um, strip of sticky tape and just pick up the dirt like so to make sure that it's clean. Or you could just wrap some uh, tape round your hand and then clean it that way. So we ink up the image with uh, tuxedo black memento ink. If you're new to, to the Stamparatus, the hinge half an inch uh, up from the work surface. So if you put your stamp case on there, that will be that will make your plate level um, and makes it easier to ink up your stamp. I'm just going to clean that surface first and stamp onto the silicon mat. Then I'll put my cardstock in. Now be careful not to smudge it. If you put it in the corner and then do that, and you don't need to re ink it again, just press so that the top image from here will pick up the ink from the underside of the cardstock. See what I mean? So then you get your mirror image. So do that again if that's not dark enough. Stamp. Put your cardstock back in again. I've stamped that twice. Now I want to clean the silicon mat. 
and I don't need the silicon mat anymore. Ink it up again and then stamp. So there's your mirror image. Now I'm going to switch my plates over so that I can stamp their collars. Bring back the silicon mat and stamp the mirror image collar. Place my cardstock in there and stamp. You can leave the stamps in situ until you've finished making as many cards as you want with it. And then once you finish, you can remove it and put it back in your stamp box. We're going to do a bit of colouring now with the Smoky Slate co Combo Lens. And I'll do the shading with the darker one and then fast forward the video. Then I'm going to blend with the lighter smoky slate and I'll fast forward this too. I'm going to scribble a little bit down here to ground the dogs. Next I'm going to stamp the kennel round about there in real red take my tuxedo black memento ink and stamp some hearts here use the solid image heart and fill it in I'm going to stamp the bone on a post-it note because we're also going to do a bit of masking. Cut this out and cut inside the line. I'll use my smoky slate to ground the kennel. Stamp the bone in Memento Black ink. Put the mask on and then stamp another bone on top. Bring back my smoky slate and fill in the kennel. Last thing to do is a little paw prints before I tackle the label. So let's do some random paw prints. Bring back the smoky slate and just stamp Friends Forever. Let me just cut out some scrap. Now, if you're a beginner and you're starting out and you don't have all the gear, just cut out your label as in a square and then you don't have to have the rectangle framelits but you can add those to your stash later on so I'm using the smallest of the rectangle framelits base cutting plate put my cardstock there cutting edge face down center it on the sentiment I've just stamped top cutting plate and I'm ready to run it through the big shot so I'll do that off camera I cut that now we need some dimensionals. Do it to the back. Now to stamp the inside of the card. And I'm just going to do a paw print here. I'll leave the rest blank so that I've got a card for emergency occasions and I can just fill in the sentiment as I need it. So let's assemble the card. Blue on the back. Glue, 
glue on the uh, back of the red layer glue on the back of this punch out the dog tags glue dots on the back pop that on thanks for joining me today I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Do give me a thumbs up if you liked it <clears throat> and join me again soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.